Okay guys, for this video, I would like to share how to control servo motor with Arduino Uno and we're going to use proximity sensor which we detect the obstacle and they will have the output and they will control the servo motor. So this video, we're going to focus on how we can add the voltage, extra voltage to servo motor. So most of the time, Arduino will produce a fiber to control the servo motor but this servo motor, the current draw will not enough. So by the time, the servo will not rotate properly. So in this video, we're going to focus how we can give extra voltage to control uh, to, to run this servo motor. So you can use Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano or Omega. So any microcontroller you can use for uh, this control project. So here's Arduino Uno and one project board and SG90 servo motor. You can use any servo motor, any motor you can use it. And this is proximity sensor. You can use any type of the sensor which we have a three, three wire. One will be positive which is a VCC fiber and one wire will be ground, one wire will be the sensor. So to be easy, I'll use the pin header here. The pin header I will use and I will place to the breadboard here. So servo motor orange is the output and red is a VCC and brown is ground. So brown to the ground, ground connect to breadboard ground here and VCC will connect to breadboard positive breadboard positive and orange wire will be the signal so orange wire the signal we connect to digital pin number 5 so servo so motor part is complete and the other side this is proximity sensor blue wire Brown Black So this proximity sensor blue wire is ground So the ground will connect to Negative of breadboard And the brown brown is VCC which is 5 volt So brown to 5 volt. Brown is 5 volt. And this black wire is the sensor signal. So connect to digital pin number 4. We take from Arduino. VCC 5 volt will connect to positive of the breadboard. And negative ground will connect to negative of the breadboard. So now the wiring is complete. So now we're going to upload the code. So you can download the code in the description link. So now the code is already done uploading.
So my sensor is working, but the server is not turning. So now my server is not rotating. My server is not working, even though the sensor is detect, detect from here, but the server is not working. So in this situation, we have to give extra 5 volt to servo motor. So remember that your servo, you can only give 5 volt. The servo motor will only support 5 volt. If more than 5 volt, then your servo motor will be burned. So in this case, you must have a 5 volt power supply. So I have a one 5 volt power supply right here. I'm going to use this kind of connector. So let me double check uh, my 5 volt power supply. So my power supply is 5 volt. So this 5 volt I can give extra 5 volt to this servo motor. Then only the servo motor will run. As you can see here. So red wire is positive, black wire is negative. So black wire, you connect to the breadboard here, which allow you to have all go through the negative wire. And the red wire, you should not put it to here. The red wire, you only need to give 5 volt to the servo motor. So in this case, servo motor 5 volt wire from, from Arduino, you must remove it. And this 5 volt positive from extra power, we have to give to servo motor. So I hope this is clear. So I remove the initially 5 volt from Arduino output to the servo, servo motor positive. I remove these things and uh, extra 5 volt positive wire we connect to positive of servo motor. So now let me test my servo motor with the sensor. So now my sensor is work. Uh, my server is work. So I hope this video will help for uh, the person my subscriber who are asking to uh, make the video that's how to x extra 5 volt power supply to the servo motor so this is the reason that sometimes our server is not uh, moving our server is not rotation because of the 5 volt current is not enough from the arduino direct so if i take this 5 volt again If I do again, the 5 volt from Arduino, my sensor is actually working, but the servo the sound you will hear only just just the sound, just a little bit. You is you you can hear the sound of the this gear, but you this will not be able to turn this servo motor. So we remove again, 5 volt positive, and this 5 volt negative connect to the negative wire line here, and 5 volt positive you need to connect to servo motor. So now the sensor. So I hope this video will help for students and thank you for watching my video.